Hola paisanos, ¿cómo están? Pues los canadienses van a probar las salsas mexicanas A ver qué tal les va Tenemos primeramente a esta, la Cholula También tenemos la que no podría faltar, Valentina Y también tenemos... Tapatío Y tenemos esta muy conocida y querida por todos los mexicanos Vean Tajín Y la más picosa de todas La que si sí está Que quema es esta, miren No, no es cierto, es broma Esta no entra Lo que pasó fue que mi esposa y una amiga Estas dos chicas canadienses Me invitaron a un restaurante canadiense En el que me sirvieron una carne de oso Con costillas de búfalo y fue un sabor que yo nunca había probado, algo completamente diferente para mi paladar. Así que decidí regresarles el favor, pero no estaba seguro qué darles, algo que su paladar nunca haya probado. Así que me fui a una tienda latina y encontré esta bolsa de Barcel, de las chips de Barcel, que todos las conocemos por aquí, no, la, no las conocen. Y también tuve la suerte de encontrar estos, a ver quién los conoce. En el estado de Chiapas donde yo crecí los conocemos como chicharrines, no sé ustedes con qué nombre los conozcan, creo que formalmente se llaman chicharrones de harina. Y también encontré limones. Gracias al Tratado de Libre Comercio, los productos de México se pueden comprar libremente aquí en Canadá a muy buen precio. Este limón me costó aproximadamente 20 centavos de un dólar. Veanlo, hecho en México. Es un producto de México. Entonces la combinación de limón con papitas, con las salsas, es definitivamente algo que ellas nunca han probado. Vamos a dárselo, tenemos a nuestras dos voluntarias. Y por si se enchilan que les pica muchísimo con todas estas salsas y ya no aguantan, les vamos a dar un poquito de horchata. Esta que me encontré, miren. A los que no sean de México y no conozcan la horchata, esta es como una leche de arroz o una bebida hecha de arroz que es muy común en México. Yo la tomaba en todas las fiestas de cumpleaños a las que no me invitaron, pero de todas maneras fui de colado. Porque los demás niños nunca me invitaban a su fiesta de cumpleaños, pero yo de todas maneras iba de caimal, de chocante, pues qué. Vamos a darle un poquito a ver qué tal para ir degustando. Yeah. 
This is really good. It's not that hot. For Canadians, it'd be considered hot, but it's really mild. It has a really nice taste. It's not overpowering. taste, I would give it, out of five stars, I would give it five stars for taste. For heat, I would give it two out of five. So, Chalula! This tastes like a match made in heaven. This and this, they're meant to be together. See, that's why it's this honey. I think, yeah, this is this is really good taste together. Except for I miss most of the sauce. I can't even hit. They should make holes for, for people like me trying to eat this. They shouldn't put holes in this. Because then I can't eat it. I miss all the sauce. <laughs> I give it a four out of five for flavor myself, but with this, I think it exceeds the five out of five stars. I like the pouring lid. Four to five for flavor. Three to four out of five for heat. Tajin! Tajin! No, 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 no. We don't put it on this. Why not? We only put that in our fruits. Why would you put hot sauce on fruit? Well, it's not a sauce, it's a hot so you put this fruit. Mexico, we use our t-shirts. Or how would you say it? Children. Can I just eat it? No. Yeah. Of course you eat it. <laughs> so what do you think of the chula? The chula. It's all going just through. <laughs> See, there shouldn't be holes in this. No, you understand, guys. Is that, is that better? You have quite a huge <laughs> toilet to get into. Why can't you? You don't have a lot toilet. of little holes. <laughs> what do you think of the flavor? I love it. It's Vale and China. No, it's not. <laughs> Valentina. Yeah, how, how badly can we butcher this? Actually, I know this guy and he's, he's such a redneck that the first time he saw a tortilla, he ate it with white bread. I think 
this has more like a chili flavor, not necessarily hot. Tapatio. Yeah, it's changed. I've never been checking out dudes. Well, <laughs> barely I have. <laughs> Maybe. You're the one asking us what we think of them. Okay, this one. Oh, this is only for fruits. It's okay. Uh, I, I did an unpardonable sin, just like when I put um, queso fresco in pozole. You eat it on the side, you don't put it in the pozole. <laughs> hmm. Okay, how much do I need? It'd be similar. It is. <laughs> Good thing or bad thing? Good. You like it? Oh, okay. Jalapeno flavor. I don't even know how to bring it here. Oh, guess what I learned? Chipotle? My whole life, I thought was something different than jalapenos. I did not know that they were roasted, smoked, smoked, smoked jalapenos. And yeah, you're learning <laughs> something. None of us know it. I asked all my friends, and none of us knew that chipotle was jalapenos. Uh, a smoked, first. a smoked jalapeno is a chipotle. Yes. Mm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That is yeah, basic knowledge. Any... She's like knowing the earth is round. Uh, well, Shaq <laughs> just said it's flat, so <laughs> who knows? Need some hot sauce on